What if I told you you can take your pentatonic from this and with this simple trick make it sound more like this. As sometimes we don't need to get rid of the entire pentatonic scale as it sounds boring and not suitable for shredding. Instead we can take it and just shift a few notes around to unlock a new set of speeds and sounds. And for those who are new here, my name is Lucas and I help guitar players to get over that intermediate rut to finally get their playing where it deserves to be after all those years. If interested, links in the description. And without further ado, let's get started. If we have a look at the regular pentatonic scale and start removing some notes. Play the first note, skip the note after that and play two notes. And that's the pattern we just repeat. One note, skip, two note. One note, skip, two note. So the entire thing goes like this. And now the beautiful thing is, we can shuffle those notes around and play them any way we want. For example, like this following 2-1-2 two, two pattern. 2-1-2-1-2-1 two, one, two, one, two, one. Which is also a great starting point for combining it with techniques such as sweep picking. Or hybrid picking. Or use that 2-1-2 two, two pattern, but then restart it from the string below. So we start with the same thing as before, 2-1-2, two, two, and now we just repeat the same exact thing, just from the string below. 2-1-2, two, 2-1-2, two, two, 2-1-2. Two, two, two. And by adding one extra note from the pentatonic to this three string shape, it will allow us to create even more interesting sounds. So we have the same pattern as before, two, one, two, and just add this little ending to it. And just start it again. And then we can obviously apply the same two, one, two pattern on the way down. Two, one, two. Or as before, use that 2-1-2 two, two pattern, but always restart it from the string below, so it looked like this. 2-1-2, two, two. and just restart it again from the string below. 2-1-2, two, 2-1-2. Two. Two, two. This is now a bit more challenging, but we can make it easier by throwing in some hybrid picking and follow the same descending 2-1-2 two, two pattern, but this time looking like this. And again, and again. Or again, follow the same pattern, but as before, restart it from the string below. E string, B string, G string, D string, A string. And then you can just start blending it all together and create lines that go like this. So we can start as before, add some regular pentatonic, white pentatonic, string skipping, and blues note. You see, that's a completely brand new sound of the pentatonic. Once you wrap your head around that, you'll open up a whole new world of musical possibilities thanks to these new shapes. You'll be able to create interesting chords out of them, or sweep through all of the pentatonic shapes, or just shred them. So, I hope you can now see how transforming your pentatonic scale is possible just by shifting a few notes around. Thanks to this approach, you'll give your playing that new flavor and slowly breaking from that intermediate rut and pushing your playing to a new height. And if you're looking for a structured program that guarantees to get your playing to that advanced level, then make sure to check the first link in the description. Don't worry, there is no webinar, free training, you don't need to hand over your email, none of that. It's just a video of me telling you how I can help you to get there. In full transparency, it is a website designed to sell you something. I'm not going to pretend like it's not. You don't have to click it. I really don't mind if you do click it or not. But if you feel like you had enough of being stuck with your plan, then feel free to check it out. Apart from that, I want to thank you so much for being here. You're the pure reason why I make these videos. 
So if you're still here by the end of this video, then drop a comment below so I know who to personally say thanks to. And if you decide to support this channel by subscribing to it, then that would really make my day and I would just love you for the support you're giving me. So thank you so much for doing that if you want to. Thanks again for being here and I hope you have an amazing day. See you in the next video.